how your life will be if you don't have any digestive problem if your digestive function properly if all the organs inside the body they function very well is not this amazing in today's practice i'm giving you one asana one pose which can really give you this all benefits stay tuned in this video complete the video and learn all these steps properly and apply them in your daily routine i can tell you if you do this you can cure so many issues so many sickness because most of the problems start with weak digestive system let's start namaste all yogis there i am prashant jakmola and welcome to youtube channel prashant jay yoga today's video i'm going to share with you one beautiful asana and very effective yoga pose which if you apply in daily routine every day i can tell you that most of the stomach issue you can just cure by doing this pose in everyday routine which one is this pose that really can give you the benefit this asana name is mandukasan manduk manduk means what manduk is a sanskrit name which is called the frog so mandukasana frog pose this mandukasana is very beautiful asana and that is ancient yoga asana it is not recently created as you all know that most of the yoga asanas are taken by animals why because if you see animals are more closer to the nature than human and that's the reason animals doesn't have much issues even if you have if they have some sickness faster they cure because nature is supporting them because they are close to nature so this asana mandukasana also which brings that that strength in our digestive system that if you apply in everyday routine you can really have big and good digestion so whatever you will eat digest properly so you don't need to worry at all keep doing this what and how to do this pose let's start so the first pose that first what you have to do is you need to sit in proper pose that is vajrasana vajra asana there are many de definition of vajrasana vajra is a one nadi which is also called the sexual nadi and vajra is called thunderbolt pose so this nadi is responsible for apana vayu the lower organ okay there are 72000 energy channels which is called nadis in our body they carry the energy they carry the prana and and support the whole body to function better so vajra is one of the nadi and this pose vajrasan activate influence and harmonize this nadi and and bring the flow of prana into this nadi and this nadi is responsible for lower organs all the lower organs reproductive organ below the navel colon digestive organ so that's the reason in this pose we perform this mandukasana let's come to this pose so what to do i will show you from side this pose so you will understand so vajrasana you come on the knees like this now maybe the question comes some of you maybe will ask the question how i can sit in vajrasana if i have knee issue how i can sit in vajrasana if i feel pain on the ankle don't worry everything you will learn in this video stay watch completely so you can understand let me explain you if you have a knee issue those who have a knee issue what they will do they will put booster under the buttocks here and then they will sit so that the knees will not have that much pressure i cannot tell you that you will not feel pressure definitely you will feel because it's a knee pose and this pose mandukasana very beneficial in this pose only so i will recommend you those who have a knee issue knee surgery try this if you can sit it's good if you cannot sit then you can do in another asana but place the booster make the buttocks higher and then sit you will be in this that much high now those who have ankle pain what to do because maybe your ankles are not flexible that much that you can sit in this pose for long don't worry roll the towel or roll the mat place it under the ankle here place them and then you will not have pain okay so as you are in this second what you have to do is see on my back you have to separate the heel so toes together big toe together separate the heel like i am doing see this 
and I'm sitting in between the heel. Can you see my, this buttocks? In the inner edge of my foot, I'm sitting. And then this is my straight back in this position. Make sure that you're not sitting on heel top. You are separating the heel and then creating the space and sitting in between the heel so that the heel will touch the outer edge of your flesh of the buttocks. Front side knees are together and this is the centering pose, starting pose. Once you are in this pose, now the process starts. What you will do, make a fist, thumb inside and this way, right? Thumb will be inside, so how the thumb, the tip of the thumb will touch the root of your small finger and make a fist this way. Then you are seeing the knuckles of the fingers. This knuckles you will need to place now in here. Check the navel, where the navel is, here. And now make the, uh, the knuckles, so the middle finger knuckle, okay, the middle finger will be on the navel center here. So the, this, uh, the first finger will be above the navel and rest of the fingers will be below the navel. Remember this. Don't do mistake, okay? So the first finger above the navel, middle finger to the navel, and rest of the fingers, knuckles below the navel. So in that way, you are covering the upper part of the navel, the belly organ, and the lower part of the navel, the belly organ. So it can improve the functions of the all the organs which is inside. This is a good pose for diabetes people because it 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 tone and stimulate the pancreas function. So very good pose, the best pose for di this diabetic, diabetic patients. They should do every day. I can guarantee if you apply this every day, slowly, slowly you can cure this diabetic issue. Let's try. So middle finger center above. Now you are in this, now see my elbows. My elbows are back, okay? Now I will lift my chest. I will create the space into Samanavayu. I told you in previous videos, we have Samana Vayu, which is above the navel, Apana Vayu, which is below the navel. So this pose influences these two Vayus. Okay, now you are centering pose. You adjusted heels, you adjusted position, you adjusted your hand, elbows are side. Straight back, open chest. Now you take deep inhale. As you inhale, hold the breath for one second. And then start pushing the hand inside a little bit. And then start exhaling. And when you exhale, start moving forward like this. Like this. If you can go down as much as possible, go down. As much as possible, go down. If you can touch the head, touch the head. Then inhale, you come up. Exhale, you go down. Inhale, you come up. Exhale, you go down. So this movement, first you will do around seven movement. Do not stay in this pose quickly, okay? So first seven movement, you are preparing. You are preparing the organs because if you, if you start by holding the pose, it can sometime create the pressure, over pressure, and you can maybe feel the pain while doing this pose. So you need to learn this because yoga is a science and these all physical exercise, they are physical exercise. Yes, they are from in yoga, but you need to understand that you are creating the pressure. So you need to understand how to work with this body. So first seven movement you did with each inhale you come up, each exhale you go down. And as you exhale, you will not change the movement of the hand, just your hand will start pushing your belly as you exhale. And because you are exhaling, so stomach is empty, so they are creating the pressure to the organs, so the tummy will go inside. After seven round, you again come up, so second step start when you stay in the pose. How? So you will inhale, you exhale, and as you go down, I'm just watching in camera, but you have to do completely down. As you go down, you just now completely Exhale, so empty stomach and here you will start five deep slow breath in this position. So inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, 
exhale and once you complete you, with inhalation you come up and then exhale relax this is second step got it so the first step only movement you go down you come up you go down you come up second step you go down and you stay there but you keep breathing inhale exhale softly inhale exhale softly now the third round okay the last round you hold now inhale exhale completely down and without breathing you just stay here for 10 seconds 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 inhale you come up exhale three round okay these are the three step i hope you understand first step just movement second step stay but breathing will be there and the third st step you stay without breathing just apply these three step every day morning and when in the morning after cleaning the bowel before the breakfast do this three steps okay and if you do this three step every day routine diabetes completely fine all the organs will get massage and i can tell you you will not have any problem with digestive system if you apply this routine everyday life so hope you like this video if you like this video please share this video to your family member to your relatives friends so everyone get the benefit from this pose and this is the step you need to follow don't do only one all three steps you need to follow and i hope with similar videos of yoga in next time till that namaste have a beautiful day thank you